We're ready for action here, Dave. First fight of the night. Rebecca Brigman in the all black outfit. Elena DeFranco in the salmon in black. Your referee in the cage, Chris Wagner. We're underway. No glove touch. No glove touch, and also Brigman had a nice little like the, the choke sign before, trying to intimidate Brigman. Ooh, DeFranco nice overhand too. right by Brigman. Clear size advantages for Brigman. About a five inch size advantage. We'll see if she uses it tonight. She's a kickboxing background. She said she competed in over 25 kickboxing events. The, the first thing that stands out to me right now is Brigman is throwing straight punches right down the pipe. Her jab is coming out like a piston. And you got DeFranco throwing a little bit more looping type of punches. Ooh. Nice right hand. Good exchange. Brigman. Close to the body, too. Brigman went to the body. Listen, you're, you're not going to intimidate Elena DeFranco. Her first fight was an absolute war. I mean, nothing but arm kicks. I mean, arms and kicks in her first fight. She left the fight bruised and battered. But, you know, she's ready. She wants to keep going. She looks like she's here to have a good time. The only thing that concerns me here is, is in these exchanges, her chin is, is up in the air a little bit. And right. Brigman is, is, is throwing the cleaner punches so far. And it looks like, yeah, Brigman, she's got that jab. I really like the jab she's putting out there. And that's allowing her to throw those twos and threes, whether it's kicks. She's controlling the distance right real leg. well, too. Yeah. Good leg kick. Certainly outstriking her in, in this uh, round. That is uh, Brigman. She's using that jab really well. That jab is setting everything up. A little clinch here. Nice, nice takedown by DeFranco. Successful takedown from DeFranco. Novice rules. You cannot strike to the head here when you're under three fights here in New York State. She's in half guard right now. She's working to pass now. She's looking for the side control. She passes the guard. That's, that's a big victory right there. She's got the cross face. She's looking for mount, but she kind of walked herself back into the half guard there. Now, the, the value of these positions under these rules kind of vary a little bit you know there's no head strikes oh full mount full mount here for DeFranco now this under a be, minute too Dave this would be a lot worse if there were strikes to the head here so Aladdin's probably gonna look to soften her up with strikes to the body and, and I would assume short time look for a submission listen this fight took a turn man under about a minute 30 is when DeFranco said you know what I'm starting getting punched in the face start getting kicked I'm gonna take you down and she, uh, there she goes. She was able to mitigate the jab that Brigman was using really effectively to keep the distance. She got inside and was able to get the takedown. Interesting developments here in round number one. We're scheduled for three. This is an Adam Wade fight. Oh, Brigman escapes. Very nice. Brigman escapes and she goes right back to her bread and butter. Oh, and she's landing. Oh, nice. She's landing some big blows here. Pushing her back, too. Two good jabs, followed by a straight right hand. I think we're going to see a pattern in this fight, Dave, where Brigman's going to want to land big blows standing. And DeFranco's going to want to take it to the ground. Great action here in round number one. <laughs> round two underway here. Scheduled for three. Both ladies coming out throwing big blows. DeFranco Defranco countered very well right there. DeFranco landed a good right hand of her own. Oh, she gets buzzed. Brigman's landing. DeFranco's losing the battle here on the stand-up. She has to go for a takedown. Brigman's jab is, is really the story here. She's using that jab real effectively. She's keeping DeFranco from closing the distance, and when she comes in, she's eating right hands and jabs. Oh, that was Ooh. a big left. Listen, she has the height advantage, has the reach advantage. That's Brigman, and she's using it to her advantage. She's, she's doing what I, she's supposed to do. I'm super impressed by her jab right now. That jab is working like a charm. Listen, training with Christian Servo, training with Eric Olsen. She did you a lot of work. paying off. A lot of work with Anthony G. Kina as well who's a, a seasoned MMA fighter in his own right, fought for Bellator, great jiu-jitsu. I know he was part of the training camp helping her out. And you can see him screaming instructions into the cage right now from the crowd. If you're Alana DeFranco, what do you got to do here to kind of stop this attack? She's got to start using her own jab. She's got to start beating Rebecca to the jab to close the distance and keep Rebecca from dictating it. She's got to get some head movement going too. Referee Chris Magnus taking a real close look at Alana DeFranco. She's taking a lot of punishment here. She's still game. She's still throwing. I mean, she's she's got a wherewithal about it. She doesn't look buzzed. She's getting hit, but she's still fighting. She's trying to solve the puzzle. I just like how comfortable Rebecca Brickman looks. And she's not rushing it. She's on the balls of her feet. She's, she's sitting back. She's throwing that jab. 
Kind of doing whatever she wants in there. What I like is that she's calm. Like you said, she's letting the fight come to her, and she's not rushing, trying to put her away, even though she's scoring. Closing in on one minute here in round number two. Oh, a good big counter round. by Atlanta. A big round for Rebecca Brigman. She was able to get off there, uh, DeFranco, but Brigman's been controlling this round after the first one was kind of back and forth. You could, you could see DeFranco trying to process her attacks here. She's looking for new, new ways to beat Brigman's jab. You, you, you can see her, she's putting the jab out there now. She's trying to use her own. I like what she's lurking on here. She's not giving up and she's still trying to solve the puzzle. And she's not just relying on the same old strategy. The jab, man, the jab is just in the face of DeFranco. Yeah, beautiful jab out of Brigman tonight. And she's going to the body too. It's like Brigman might be outlanded maybe like three to one at this point. Very impressive work out of Rebecca Brigman. Nice counter from DeFranco. DeFranco's game, you, you, there's, there's no fear in her eyes. She's still coming forward, she's still trying to... Back to the action here, third and final round. It's a good one, it's the first fight of the night. Alana DeFranco in the pink top. Rebecca Brigman in the all black, a fight being controlled slowly by Brigman. Break, systemly breaking down DeFranco. Both fighters look well conditioned. They don't look tired. The pace doesn't seem to have slowed too much here in the third round. But both fighters bouncing around in there. You know, DeFranco did take a lot of punishment, but it's not stopping her from coming forward. Now you see Brigman starting to open up with kicks behind that jab. That's a, that's a new layer to the onion here. Went to the body Ooh, too, which is a nice, nice tag. Work. Beautiful combination. She she jabbed, she yeah. dug to the body off that jab. That's high level stuff. Jab hooked to the body with this, the lead hand followed by a kick, a la Max Holloway. Really impressive stuff from Rebecca Brickman here. She calls it a big right hand. <laughs> oh, and she, she kisses it. Kisses the hand. A little exclamation point on that. You can tell Brickman's really starting to find her groove now. Yeah, referee, Chris Wagner, his, his eyes are fixated right now on DeFranco. Took a lot of shots here. DeFranco's still in it though. I mean, she's, she, she's losing the, the battle here, but she's not beaten. She's not retreating, you know? She's game. She's gotta land something though. One thing to be game, you gotta land something if you're gonna stand there right in front of a, a really gifted striker like Rebecca Brigman. Oh, a big right hand. Big right hand, followed by another clean jab. You can kind of see the accumulation now starting to slow DeFranco down a little bit. I really like the patience shown by Brigman. She's not rushing it. She goes to the body again off the jab. Beautiful work. See DeFranco take a look up at the screen to see how much time was left. We're under a minute here, round number three, the final round of the fight. Franco looking to just get to that final bell. That jab, just doing whatever she wants in there now is, is Brigman. Just walking in without throwing. Very impressive jab out of Brigman. That's the story of the fight right there. That jab is what set everything else up and paid dividends tonight. Franco going for a takedown here. Show them the heart of, look at the heart of the line of DeFranco. Ladies and gentlemen, after three contested rounds, we do go to the scorecards. The judges see it 30-27, 30-26, and 30-27. All your winner by unanimous decision. Fighting out of the red corner, Rebecca Brickman! 2-0, oh, 
and you start your career, I gotta say, I was impressed with your jab work tonight. Was that part of the game plan? Yeah, my game plan was to keep up my range because she kept coming forward. And uh, I give her a lot of credit because she stayed in there, she kept coming forward. You know, it takes a lot of heart to be in there and for anyone in here. So I'm glad to have fought her and thank you very much. What's next for you, 2-0? Oh. You gonna move up in the in the ranks here? You gonna look to challenge for a title maybe? What's, what's on your mind? Yeah, I'm thinking about three more MMA fights and I'm gonna go pro. Right on, you heard it first. Give it up for your winner, Rebecca Brickman.